Good morning, and I want to personally thank Chairman Schumer for his great leadership as New York's senior senator in so many ways and in this subprime crisis situation, and for holding this hearing to examine the subprime lending disaster and the threat to the broader economy. Anxiety over the state of the economy remains high as concerns mount that the subprime mortgage meltdown will infect the rest of the economy. Yesterday, RealtyTrack released the latest bad news that foreclosures reported in August increased 36 percent since July and 115 percent since this time last year. Expectations are that the next 18 months will be even worse as many subprime loans reset to higher rates. The credit crunch, the worsening housing slump, market volatility, and weak consumer confidence point to a gathering storm that could drag down the economy, taking thousands of American jobs with it. Consumer spending has been propped up by the economy, but the ability of American consumers to keep spending may be flagging with slowing or declining home prices, putting the economy at a serious risk of a downturn. Dr. Schiller worries that the collapse of home prices that we will see, and I quote, might turn out to be the most severe since the Great Depression, end quote. Millions of Americans are in danger of losing their homes, and if employers continue to pull back on hiring, their jobs may be in danger, too. And a clear sign of the seriousness with which the Fed now views economic conditions, yesterday the committee moved to lower its key short-term interest rate by 50 basis points to 4.75 percent and left the door open to additional cuts. The Fed's actions is an effort to prevent the economy from derailing and to ease credit pressures, but it is no silver bullet. In Congress, we are focusing on helping families stay in their homes and preventing another crisis like this in the future. Just yesterday, the House of Representatives passed legislation to enable the FHA to serve more subprime borrowers at affordable rates and terms, attract borrowers who have turned to, to predatory loans in recent years, and offer refinancing to homeowners struggling to meet their mortgage payments. The senator has taken several important steps. The $100 million that he's put in the budget is very important to help people stay in their homes. Also, Fannie and Freddie are providing much-needed liquidity in the prime market right now. We passed a GSE reform bill in the House, but we should also raise the cap on these entities, which the Senator has called for repeatedly, on their portfolio limits, at least temporarily, so that they can provide additional liquidity and help with the subprime crisis. To make uh, servicers more able to engage in workouts, another action that we took in Congress with strapped uh, borrowers, we pushed FASB to clarify that its uh, standard 104 allows for modification of a loan uh, when default is reasonably foreseeable, not just after default. They believe that will help keep many people's homes. And I think we should also eliminate the tax on debt forgiveness, sparing families the double whammy of paying taxes on the lost value of their homes. For the future, our regulatory sy system is in serious need of renovation to catch up with the financial innovation that has surpassed our ability to protect consumers and hold institutions accountable. Even though the federal banking regulators have put out interagency guidance on subprime loans to improve standards, some three-quarters of the subprime market does not have a federal regulator. We need to extend the guidance to create a uniform national standard to fight predatory lending and a single consumer protection standard for the entire mortgage market. I, I believe regulating the, the brokers and other unregulated participants is a, a, an essential first step. Shoring up the foundation of the American dream will help families and strengthen the economy. I thank the chairman for holding a series of hearings on this important issue, and I look very much forward uh, to the testimony from, from our distinguished panel. Thank you for your excellent testimony.